Hi, I'm Patty. Welcome to Bridge Chats. Nice to have you here. I thought today we might talk about something that people tend to have trouble with, uh, counting your winners. Um, when you are declarer, after the opening lead is made, one of the first things that you should do is count your winners, how many winners you have in the hand. Uh, we'll say, for instance, in this hand that your contract is four hearts and we want to count how many winners we have in our four heart contract. Now one of the mistakes that people make a lot that I see is, is they'll start counting their winners in the north hand or the south and then in the other hand. Like they'll go one, two, three, maybe four. So they're counting all those high cards in the north hand, but it's really not a good way to count your winners. Because remember, you have two hands to work from. So what you want to look is how the two hands mesh together. How many tricks you have in suits when you put the, two, the honor cards in both hands working in tandem with each other. Because that's how you're going to play the hand out, right? All right, so let's look at the spade suit. In dummy, we have the ace, the king, and the three. In our hand, we have the seven, the four, and the two. So we have two spade winners. We have the ace and the king here. We have no high spade that might take a trick in this hand. So we have two spade winners. In hearts, we have the ace, the queen, the king, the jack, the ten, the nine, and look, I even gave you the eight and seven. Didn't need them, but I gave them to you anyway. So we have four heart winners because between our two hands, we have all four of the top hearts. So keep in track now, that's four hearts and two spades. In diamonds, we have the queen, the five, the four, and the king, the seven, and the three. Some people think about that as being two winners because they say once the ace is gone, I'll take a trick with my king and with the queen. Well, let me tell you something. Opponents do not just lay down their ace. They're going to wait until they can capture either the queen or the king with the ace before they win their ace. Aces like to win faces. So what you need to budget for, what you need to think about, is I'm going to have to play one of those honor cards, either the queen or the king, to force them to win their ace. And then I will win a trick with the other high card. So I'm going to have to sacrifice, play one of my big honors, in order to drive out the ace, to make them win their ace, and the other one will be a trick. And I, if you can take a trick with the four, the five, the three, or seven, please write me and tell me about it because you're better than I am. So we've got one diamond winner, okay? And now clubs. In clubs, we have the ace, the jack, and the three, and the queen, the four, and the two. So we have the ace, we're missing the king, and we have the queen and the jack. We have two club winners. We should think we're probably going to lose to the king. It's possible that the king might be in the west hand and that we could lead a low club and finesse for the king. But for us to get three club tricks, the king would have to be with two. It'd have to be a doubleton in west so that when we won the jack and then played the ace, we'd capture the king and our queen would be good. The odds of that, we only have six clubs between our hand, not very good. So let's recap. We have two spade winners, the ace and the king. We have four heart winners, the ace, the king, the queen, and the jack for six. We have a diamond winner for seven. And we have two club winners for nine. Hmm, looks like we have a little work to do. We'll talk about it more later. Thanks for coming.